Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Byron Bay. I'm so happy to be here. Last time I came to Australia, I only managed to spend like two nights in Byron Bay, so it was like the quickest trip ever. And this time I've got six nights, so I'm so excited to get to know it and just explore it properly. The sun is finally out as well, which I'm unbelievably excited about. I've actually got so much planned for this trip to Byron Bay. I've literally got a different activity every single day I'm doing. Dolphin kayaking, surf lesson, a brewery tour, um, waterfalls tour. So yeah, there's, it's gonna be jam-packed, so I'm definitely gonna be covering all the best things to do here. So right now I'm just gonna head into the center of Byron just to grab a coffee um, with actually a girl that I met in Sydney. I think, I feel like Australia so far has been such a good place for solo travel. There's so many d different people like, somebody just drove past me in a van and saw me filming myself and literally was wetting themselves that's actually the first time I've had that happen so that's quite I feel like that's quite good odds so I hurry anyway start walking so I'm running um late but yeah I'm off to meet uh, a girl for coffee right now and then after that I've actually got the brewery tour this afternoon which is why I thought I'd set the vlog up now so I can video it as I go my waterfalls tour now not actually even sure entirely what's included in this i think we're going to see a waterfall like a national park and i want to say a beach but I, I could be completely wrong on that also i never updated you on like the end of the brewery tour yesterday it was so fun it was such a good tour and i actually could not believe the amount of alcohol that we were given i think i drank like half and i was quite drunk by the end of it every other like brewery tasting that i've gone to you get like this much like especially i did all the wine ones in new zealand and yeah you literally get like a sip of each wine this was full on i would say like half pints of and you'd get four at a time and we went to three different places it was insane and there was no three different places yeah did I say three? Um, and there was also like three shots of rum included as well. So yeah, if you are looking for a solid brewery tour, this is a thousand percent the one to go for. Also, like I do like beer and I do drink it, but sometimes when I drink too much, I get a bit like, you know, and it feels like sloshy. Um, so they also offered me like, they offered me other stuff as well, which I thought was so good. At the last place I could have got wine and yeah, I had rum at the first place. And then also they offered me a really nice like gi alcoholic ginger and chai. I think it was a beer, I'm not even sure, but it was so nice. So I also had that at the end, at like the final place as well. The guy running it was so nice as well, so chatty. And at each place we had like a, like a little guided tour and they were all really nice as well. Yeah, I would very, very highly recommend. I thought it was so good. so horrid um but i've just found a little point in the hostel because i thought i'd just quickly recap on today because i don't think i did that today and then i've got an early start tomorrow so i won't have time but yeah the waterfalls were so nice today it was a really fun trip last time i came to Byron bay we didn't have time to actually go outside of like the town center so it was actually so nice seeing the surrounding area definitely if you do head to Byron bay i would definitely try and book onto some kind of tour which takes you out the like the town because it's so beautiful around it's so much more green than i was expecting okay but now 
now I literally think I'm gonna go to bed it's only like 9 30 or something but I've got a surf lesson early tomorrow morning and I'm kind of tired from today so I literally think I'm just gonna be quite boring Good morning so I'm just it's bright and early it's like uh 9 a.m or something um, and I'm just heading off to my surf lesson in Byron Bay. I'm super excited for this one. It's basically with a company called Style Surfing, which is run by a guy called Gaz. He's been like, been like texting all the um, arrangements and everything, and he seems really nice, really happy. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I feel like when you come to Australia, and especially somewhere like Byron Bay, you have to do a surf lesson at one point. He has like a stand-up guarantee, so I'm expecting myself to be like standing up on the waves, and I'm just so excited. Hey mates, this is my mate Sarah. She's from Ireland. She's coming to surf in the Iron Bay with the guys, man. I'm looking forward to seeing all you guys surfing here too. It's going to be happy. Hello, so I've just nipped back to the hostel after my surf lesson to like sort myself out, um, get changed out of my extremely salty clothes and then now the plan is to walk up to the lighthouse for sunset. Apparently it's about an hour's um, walk from my hostel so I'm staying at the Arts Factory which is a little bit further uptown so if you're in the centre of town I think you'd have a shorter walk. And there's two routes you can do, you can either go by the beach or you can go by the road. Apparently beach is harder and better, more like lots more steps and climbing and the road's easier but then it depends. If you're going to do like sunrise then obviously the road would be a bit safer. But yeah, I'm going to head off now, I'm excited, I hope there's a good sunset. Just thought I'd quickly show you some of the hostels. This is Arts Factory, so we've got the dorm rooms all along here and then swimming pool and then through there there's like cafe, restaurant and then like areas to hang out around here. Then it's a bit dark, but this is my dorm room. So it's a girls only one. I've got the top bunk just up there. I cannot even tell you how beautiful these views are. Like I'm trying to film it and it's one of those ones where the camera is just not doing it even an ounce of justice. So look at the colour of my face. I went surfing this morning and I did put sun I put a ton of sun cream on my face. But I don't know. Oh, I got back to the hostel, looked in the mirror, and there was literally like a line of red. And then when I turned my hair in a plait, this bit was covered, so it was white. Oh my gosh, shocking. I'm really hoping it fades by tomorrow. But nearly at the lighthouse now, so the plan was to come up about 30 minutes before the sunset so that I could get like some photos with the blue sky and things and then hopefully then gonna catch the sunset um, it's meant to be oh it's about an hour actually so I've got a while so there is like a visitor center and a gift shop but because I've come the sunset is already closed I'm pretty sure it closes at 4 p.m. getting close and we still have blue sky which I'm so happy about Let's go. hostel again I feel like it's the only place I could find that there's not like tons of people around because I still even though I've been trying to do YouTube for like a little while now I still find that I can't do it in front of like strangers like I just can't sit there and film myself with like people walking past but it's actually the afternoon now I'm so annoyed I didn't get any footage on this morning so I actually didn't bring my camera out with me because in the afternoon I was going out to do this like um water thing which I'll tell you about in a minute but yeah this morning I went back to the same cafe which I've been to practically every day since I've been here I love it so much I now the name is escaping me but I will put it down here um but yeah it's definitely so cute and get their carrot cake as well I love it and then I basically went shopping in all the little boutique shops around here again I wish I I'd filmed it but um maybe I can see if I can find some pictures And then this afternoon we went sea kayaking and it was the funniest thing like at the start they were teaching you and they were like oh if you fall out like this is how to get back in and I basically wasn't listening because I've been kayaking so many times and I've never fallen out so I was like I'm not gonna fall out I fell out without within seconds of being in it because you have to they said you basically have to like surf the waves in your kayak it was honestly wild I will put some pictures in because as we were coming back in again me and my friend were like 
fell out, honestly we fell out about four times um, and I also I will put this in, we saw whales, they came up so close to us um, so yes people sent me some footage after us because I didn't have my GoPro on me, it's broken since I've got out here which means so annoying. Yeah, it was the most amazing experience. I absolutely loved it. I will put the name of the people that I did it with down here because they were amazing. They made it such a fun experience. Definitely one of the highlights so far. So I am still in my bikini, so I think I'm gonna go and lie out by the hotel pool now, try and get a bit of sun, because tomorrow is actually my last morning and then I leave Byron, which I'm so sad about. Sorry, I definitely feel like this vlog has not been my finest and it's not showing that much of actual Byron, but I do feel like I still am gonna probably post it because I do feel like I've shown you lots of things that you could do around Byron, so that's gonna be my USP for this video. But yes, thank you so much for watching as always. My next video, I am heading to Surfers Paradise next and then Brisbane and then I am keep on going up the East Coast so I'm going to keep making videos and I hope to see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!